Hello everybody and welcome. In this video we're going to take a short look at how to make analog style dials with steppers and Arduino and wooden front panels and some 3D printed parts. Analog style dials like these here um, are often considered to be a thing of the past. But I still think they have a lot to offer because they're very simple and they relate very easily. And even though they seem old, they still convey the information that they're meant to convey in a pretty good manner. For example, take a look at this thermometer. It is actually 60 years old but it still does exactly what you expect it to do. It shows you the temperature. And although fonts may have changed and styles may have changed, this thing is still good the way it is today and the way it was 60 years ago. So I still prefer analog style dials over the uh, digital ones. Uh, not because I have bad vision, but that's true too. Um, but because I like the simplicity and I like the retro style of it. Other displays I like to have um, LEDs, OLEDs, LC, whatever. Um, but they're meant to convey a lot more information. Take for example this weather station here. It is really, really simple. It just has three dials and it has three sets of information to give you. And although you might be interested in the absolute value of the temperature, it is more or less the way that the dial is pointing that will tell you if it's hot or cold or if you have a high air pressure or a low air pressure or if the humidity is high. So presenting the information maybe something uh, that is more important than actually conveying the exact value. This is why I like these so much. I also like uh, old style VU meters on uh, stereo equipment a lot. And uh, the way to build these is a lot similar. So what makes these things work? Uh, basically, each of these dials has a very, very cheap stepper at the back. It's the 28BYJ48 stepper, and they can be had for about a dollar a piece, and uh, about two dollars a piece if they have a controller. And the way this works is each and every dial doesn't actually cover all of the available surface, but about three quarters of it. So when these dials are reset, uh, the steppers are moved to the absolute minimum and beyond that. But there is a notch inside the dial that just makes the indicator stop. So if I reset this, you can see them resetting themselves. And they do a little wipe and then they assume the position that they're meant to assume. So right here we have about 19 degrees Celsius. We've got about 49% of humidity and a pretty low air pressure. And that's all they do. So how do you build one? Each of these dolls uh, was cut from wood. I use a laser, but you can use different ways of doing it. Um, you can just drill these holes and have the little notch um, made from 3D printed part. I have the center of the dial, which is a 3D printed part. Uh, and this one also has an index. And when the index reaches the end position, it will just cause the dial to stop. That is the zero position. If you turn it all the way around, it will stop again and that is the maximum position. It is very easy to find out what the number of steps in between is 
And you can use those steps as a minimum and maximum, because if you ever run into the problem that you run until the end, uh, you will have the issue that these point into a wrong direction. Um, so make sure that you never overshoot the maximum and that you never undershoot the minimum. Now, these have a little um, indentation at the middle where you can stick something like, in this case, I did a piece of filament. So this is just some 3D printing filament. You can have it stick out at the back the way you like it. What is important is that when you mount them, the center has to be at the center or the center of the shaft from the stepper has to be at the center of the dial. That is very important because Otherwise, you will not be having your minimum and maximum at the endpoints. Um, apart from that, there's not a lot you have to actually look out for. Now, when I use these very cheap steppers here, they're very slow, uh, but they don't take a lot of uh, current and uh, energy to move. So they are very, very easy to operate and you can use them uh, from a USB supply like a computer or a power brick. That works really well. If you want to have a dial that moves really, really fast, you use a small stepper like this one um, because of the much higher uh, inertia and the higher for force that you can exert with this, uh, this can move really fast. Also, this one doesn't have a gearing. So these are good for moving dials really, really fast. And if you want to have it slow and steady, use a small stepper like this one. I use either the uh, controllers that come with the steppers or I use a small controller board that just has uh, some ULN 2003 chips on it that make these steppers move and you don't need a lot more than that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to change the dials uh, on these because uh, these were the prototype and uh, the newer ones look a lot nicer and um, then I'm going to see if they still work and I don't see why they shouldn't. So we can just pull off the dial on this one and you can see the stepper shaft in the middle and this is just held in place by pretty normal screws and when i put this back on this was the barometer The screws make sure that the stepper is somewhat centered and uh, the rest is going to be done with the with moving the screws on the uh, on the dial so you get the best absolute position. One screw. And another screw. Now I'm going to center this roughly and tighten down the screw. Reinsert the dial. And when this goes through its testing, I will make sure that, first of all, all the dials are absolutely in the same position on the axis, so they're straight. And then I'm going to see if the position matches when they're reset. So this now goes down to absolute zero and it resets to the 50% sign. And um, for this, this is good enough. So 
basically that's it that is the simplest way of making a dial simply make the form of the dial make sure that it has a notch uh, so you can have another notch in the um, axle nub that goes on the stepper so that the maximum position is limited by the notch on one side and the minimum is limited by the notch on the other side and when you reset your dial just move it to the zero position and basically what you do is you do a whole revolution of the stepper and it's going to stall at the zero position and because these steppers have very little force um, they're just going to stall out they're not going to uh, wear out the notch or cause any damage to anything and um, they're just going to stay there and then you move to the position that you want your dial to be um, pointing to um, unfortunately that doesn't work for uh, dials that go all the way around like on a clock or something so you have to keep that in mind but just for a start this is the simplest way to do it that I know of and um, the materials are very easy to use you can this here's 3d printed um, where did my other dial go well wherever it went um, you can have the the other notch either in a 3d printed part or in the um, front part you can have these with uh, paper on top and, and just print your dials on there you can have them illuminated or in colors and depending on the speed you want to use you can either use a slow stepper like the 28 byj or you can use a uh, rather small stepper like this one from a uh, five and a quarter inch disk drive and uh, they all work really good and depending on what you want to do um, i think this is one of the simplest ways to go thank you for watching and bye bye